All right. Well, hey guys, it's Mel here again, and today I'm doing a little bit of improv. I don't have any notes, but I did want to make a quick video just to let you guys know that um, pretty much the first book that I started reading, which is called So You Want to Be a Fashion Model, has been a pretty awesome book, and it's actually been highlighting a lot of things that I've been coming to realize as an aspiring model and some of those things are is that hey if you really want to become a model and you're serious about it you really have to first one take an assessment of yourself and what your chances are so rather than just you know straight cold calling an agency or straight just showing up to casting and audition calls for these big major agencies you know locally it's fine to show up but if you're trying to approach a more prestigious and well-known agent then you might want to do a little bit more research and you might want to take a little bit of inventory as far as what you offer to the modeling world as well as um what they are looking for so um, pretty much the book has helped educate me with that as well to expand my knowledge but I had a feeling that hey what is the client looking for and in this case not just the client but as well as agencies what are they looking for when they're you know hunting or scouting for models as far as height look and um, the book was very informative as far as you know there are different markets that look for different things so you may not be what the agents are looking for where you live at but, you know, here in the United States, there are different markets. And also overseas, you might be able to market yourself there and then come back to the United States and find a better market for you once you have a chance to build up your portfolio. So, taking inventory of yourself means looking at what's already out there. The book recommends, you know, checking out magazines to see what other models are looking like in those magazines because those are the models that are finding work and being hired. Something else that you want to look at is, you know, take a look at yourself in the mirror. What does your hair look like? What are your features, your strong features, your weak features, that sort of thing. And how does that fit into what you see now that's out there that's, you know, agents are looking for as far as hiring models for work. The second thing that I realized that I think is very important, and this is going to be a myth buster. So it might come as a surprise to some of you guys. This is a myth buster. Modeling is a business. And that means that, you know, at the end of the day, it's about money. Money for the client, the people that are hiring you, money for that agent, money for you to take care of things that you need to take care of. It's about making money because it's a business. With any business... It requires you investing in yourself. So a lot of times when people approach agencies, they're like, well, okay, if I'm being signed to this agent, then doesn't that mean that I don't have to come out of pocket anything? Like if they're really serious about me and taking me on, they should be paying for my portfolio. They should be paying for my comp cards. They should be paying for my travel to get to and from. And then, you know, they get that money back when I book work. But that is not the case a lot of times, especially when you are starting out, you know, and you're working with a smaller agency. Because simple fact is that they don't have, one, the money to invest in you like that and just any and everybody like that. Two, there's still the question of whether or not you're worth that investment. You know, you might have the face and the looks for something, but do you have the personality? Do you have the actual drive to, you know, make it far? So why would you expect someone to invest hundreds of dollars in you when you haven't proven that you can handle, you know, what's out there? You might have the looks again. You might have a pretty face, a handsome face, but can you actually book work? And can you actually, you know, make clients happy and have them want to hire you back? That's what it's about. So those are just two of the biggest things that I started out with before I even ordered any of these books. I was like, one, okay, what are agents and clients looking for in a model? Two, if I'm going to be serious about this, I really need to look at modeling as a business. 
Not as something that you just want to be like, oh, I want to be on the cover of a magazine or I want to be like the models that I see on TV or like, you know, on celebrity status. It's not just about that. Modeling really is a business. And I feel that if a lot more people took the time out to understand that and research what they're getting into and they approach modeling as an actual business, they would be more successful and they would get less burned and feel like, you know, they weren't being they weren't being as much taken advantage of because now you're doing your research and you can make an informed decision. Part of modeling being a business, especially for people that are, you know, going to be putting money up front or parents that are going to be investing money up front from your pocket, you know, the agency says, hey, we can send so-and-so, your child or daughter or you, to some place to get work and you have to come out of pocket to pay for that plane ticket or for whatever else you need. That's you making an investment in your career. And you have to be able to assess for yourself. Just because the agent says, hey, you should do this and this and this, and it's going to cost X amount of money, doesn't mean that you are going to agree with that investment. You know, when you're first starting out, it's good to try different things and get a feel for what's out there. But since this is your money, you also have to, you know, determine for yourself, hey, is this an investment that I want to be making right now? Can I afford to make this investment right now? So it's your money and you have some say-so definitely in how it gets spent. So that's something else to be mindful of. You have to treat it as an investment. Don't treat it as like it's an expense and, oh, I have to come out of pocket another $400 for photos or something like that. You have to have the mentality of, hey, this is an investment. Is this the right time? Can I afford to make this investment? You know, that's how you have to look at it. So I just wanted to um, stop by real quick, give this quick little improv. As you can see, I'm out of breath because I talk fast. But <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys a little bit because that's something that my mentality was starting out that, hey, I need to do those two things. And it's great that this book, <clears throat> I really do recommend it if you are planning on taking modeling seriously. Good tips for both male and female models, aspiring models that would like to make it into the industry from an agent perspective, and I've been enjoying it so far. Very informative, and I would highly recommend it to those of you that are interested in becoming a model to start educating yourself on what to expect out there and to, you know, better prepare yourself. Because one thing that the book said that I also agree with is that i rather be prepared up front before walking in that door and presenting myself to anybody, you know, I'd rather know what I'm getting into versus just blindly walking in there with a pretty face and expecting them to see the same thing, a pretty face. Because the next thing that's going to come, the first thing actually that's going to come is an interview where they're asking you questions. Why do you want this? What's your plan? What's your goal? You know, pretty much they're trying to find out, okay, you have a pretty face. There are thousands of other people that come in here probably every day wanting the same thing that you want. They also have pretty faces, but what can you offer me to, you know, convince me that I know that if I send you out on bookings, you're going to have a great attitude, you're going to be professional, and you're going to be able to book more work because that's really what it's about at the end of the day. So, hope you guys are having a great day, and this is just a quick update on the modeling world and what it's like to be an aspiring model.